What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to transfer crypto from CoinSwitch to Wallet. So you might be wondering how to exactly do so. There are going to be a few steps that you need to do. So let's go ahead and start with the very first one. So first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and choose the crypto you want to transfer. So you want to open your CoinSwitch Pro account, and decide which cryptocurrency you want to send. Now like this could be either BTC, USDT, or ETH, or any other 100, uh, 100 plus available coins they support. Now, in this case, for example, let's go and choose USDT. Now, once you've selected the crypto, you need to click on the get address option. This gives you a deposit address, basically the wallet address where the funds are supposed to go. So just click on the little copy icon to copy the address. Now, from then on, you want to head over to your wallet or exchange you're transferring from. That could be Binance, Metamask, Trust Wallet, or whatever else you're using. Now, in this case, when you initiate the withdrawal, paste that coin switch deposit address, the one you copied earlier, into the address field that you are seeing, or in this case, the platform uh, that is asking for the address that you want to transfer to. Now, in this case, uh, it's super important here to make sure the network you select for the transfer is exactly the same one as the, you've selected on the coin switch deposit page. Now, for example, if you've selected USDT on the Ethereum network, which in this case is going to be ERC20, don't set it using TRC20. Use the ERC20 that you selected initially. So again, make sure the network is actually, uh, in this case, uh, matches when you're making the transfer. Now enter the amount of crypto you want to send. So double check everything here, address, network, and the amount. So make sure everything matches correctly. Now, CoinSwitch may ask you to upload proof of withdrawal here, like a screenshot or transaction ID. This is mostly for tracking purposes, especially if something goes wrong. And in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.